I am really glad you are with us today. We're going to talk about one of my favorite all-time foods, fried chicken. Who doesn't love a good fried chicken? But how are you going to have a decent fried chicken on keto? You want to eliminate as many carbs as you can. First, you got to have some good chicken. Now, you can choose any cut you want. In our house, our favorite are good chicken. So here you go. We cut these chicken wings up, and it's very simple. We have these large, extra large pterodactyl wings. It's so juicy. And you just give them a little cut in between the first and second portions, and there you have it. Some people don't know what to do with the tips. They save them for soup, or what have you, I nibble on it. And so, this is what we do. Now, like I said, I've lost well over 50 pounds, and thank God I'm continuing to lose weight, and I'm eating good. I'm eating really good, but I couldn't make it without my fried chicken. I'm going to show you a way to get all the crispness, all the juiciness, all the tender finger licking goodness, and also all the flavors, all those Asian flavors you know and love. Okay, here we go. We got the chicken all cut up. And we got a big pile of chicken here. All right, first of all, you got to dry out the skin. Now, much like our pork belly show, dry skin is crucial to crispiness. We're gonna blanch it really quick to tighten up the skin. Here's a little hint. I will often use frozen chicken wings. So even if I got it from the store fresh, what I'll do is I'll stick it in the freezer like this. Why? So that the inside stays cold and juicy. Listen. I don't want the meat to cook, just the outside skin. Okay, so here we got a pot of rapidly boiling water. And what you wanna do, don't crowd the pot because you want to keep the water hot. So we take them and we just drop them in, all right? A few at a time. You can do all of the mid-wing portions at one time and then you can do the drumettes at one time. You want to let them have a little swim in the hot jacuzzi back and then pull them out. Go ahead and turn off our heat. That's all we need. Now we bring the chicken over to the seasoning table. And I praise God, I thank God that my left hand can work. For those of you who don't know our story, I had a stroke two and a half years ago. My left hand was useless. I couldn't do this. I thank God that I'm beginning to be able to use my left hand again. Now, what we want to do here, okay, we want to lightly season. Here's a little mixture of garlic salt and pink salt. This will allow the salt to permeate the chicken during its rest in the refrigerator. To furthermore enhance the drying process, we're gonna boost it. We want it super crispy. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use baking powder to change the pH of the skin. And so what I do is I just rub a tiny bit of baking powder into each and every piece of chicken we have. And so what we're going to do, in effect, is we're going to create chicken chicharrones. And this is how we do it. Lay them out so they're not touching so they have a chance to dry out. We put our chicken wings in the refrigerator, uh, in this case overnight, but a few hours will do. And 
Let's go get them now. Now remember, we drive them on one side. And so this side is looking nice and dry. And now we're gonna flip them over and do the other side. So come on. Okay, action. Okay, this is my son Micah. Micah say hello to all the people. Hi. Hi. Okay, son, this is a chicken wing that needs no batter. Now, you see this part is nice and dry, right? Because we put uh, baking powder. So this is how we get them crispy and crunchy without batter. But you like the batter, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll make some, don't worry, I'll make some regular chicken wings for you. So, now you're up early this morning, son. How come? Oh, you heard mommy taking a shower and then, oh, that made you miss her? And then you got up early to see her? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Why? You, because I love her. You love her. Oh, man. I'm so glad we got this on film. <laughs> Mommy's going to be watching this as an old lady. So <laughs> uh, because you love her. Well, I'm so glad Mommy has such a devoted fan club. Now, we just put them back in the fridge and wait a few more hours. Okay. All right, so the chicken wings are waiting for us in the fridge. Meanwhile, let's prep our ingredients for the sauces. Now, sauces can run the gamut. I mean, you can just make good old buffalo wings. And sometimes that's what you want. You get a good bottle of hot sauce, Tabasco, or your favorite red hot sauce, and you get some butter. And after the chicken wings are done, you just toss them in there and there you go. But you might want something more complex. Right now, all we got is a little bit of garlic salt flavoring our chicken wings. What are we gonna do? We need to put all those flavors back in. The way we do it now is through a sauce. I'm gonna teach you too. A nice glaze and it's gonna look really pretty. The other one is more of a dry fried approach. Perhaps you've heard of salt and pepper. And so we're gonna do that. Right now, I'm just gonna get all the ingredients ready so we don't have to worry about it later. Here we go. You peel the garlic cloves and you just smash them. There you go. That's all you need, okay? You take another one, you put it down, and you smash it. something to you. Um, there are those of you who are very familiar with this ingredient and some of you are not. So I want to show you this. This is basil, but it's not Italian basil. It's Thai basil. Now there are a couple of kinds of Thai basil. There's holy basil and there's purple basil and either one would work. Um, this one here is purple basil and it's delicious deep fried. Now, you got to be careful because it'll splatter. It'll get you. And I'm not going to chop this yet because once you chop it, it begins to turn black. We're going to add this at the last minute. Okay, I want to make something undeniably clear. My advice is to stir fry. Stir fry all your ingredients 
in a nice hot wok and then combine your chicken. Now, how do you know when your oil is ready? People will tell you use a thermometer. Chinese for centuries, for millennia, never had thermometers. I never had a fancy pantsy thermometer growing up. You know how I look? Come over here, I'll show you something. This is primitive, but you take a wooden chopstick. Now listen, <laughs> don't, don't take an ivory chopstick. Don't take a metal chopstick. Don't take a plastic chopstick, okay? Take yourself a wooden bamboo chopstick and you put it in your oil. You will see it bubbling. When it bubbles like this, it's ready. If the bubbles are fast and furious, you might have your oil a little bit too hot. If the bubbles are slow and lethargic, is too cold. That is about right, okay? Now, I wanna show you something. Come take a close up of this. This is about what we want the chicken to look like. You see it's dry? If you say, oh, I don't want to deep fry in my kitchen at all. Is there any way I can get by without it? What you can do is let it sit for an entire 24, 36 hours in your fridge. Let it dry out until it looks kind of mummified. Brush oil all over your chicken and stick it in a super hot oven. We're talking 475, close to 500 degrees. I know, you're like crazy. That's pizza oven temperature, and that's what you want. You want your oven to work like a deep fryer, okay? And that's what I often do to get nice crispy chicken without the mess. But here, we're going whole hog. So come on over. I'm going to turn on the the range hood and you're not going to be able to hear me okay here we go chicken is done well when they start swimming the inside is no longer raw now you see how these guys float they're just about done now here you want to make a decision you want it to lean more on the crispy side or more on the juicy side and you have to decide how dark you want it versus how juicy it is now let them swim, watch. Are they swimming? Okay, are they floating? If they're floating, they're done. You see how they're swimming around, they're floating around? They're saying, save me, save me. Come get me, I'm crispy and still juicy, and you need to eat me now. Now it's time for the second best. All right, we're about done. We gonna check on them. There you go, golden brown, delicious, juicy and tender on the inside. It's time to pull them out of the bath. Be very, very careful. Don't burn yourself. Don't get your face close to the oil. All right? Don't lose an eye. If a horrific accident occurs and you have a big oil explosion, do not pour water on the oil fire. Please, don't panic. Just pour baking soda. Pour baking soda on it and step away. 
There you go. It's done. Now, look at these beautiful chicken wings. Golden brown, crunchy, crispy, succulent still on the inside, juicy. All right. Now, I'm going to turn that off so you can hear me. You could eat these just as is. Sometimes we will use a wedge of lemon and some Chinese seasoned salt. Check out our link for the recipe. Chinese seasoned salt. But I'm going to show you how to do the deluxe method right now. basil so it's a little variation notice that it's semi-dry simply delicious this is how we like it most often but let me show you a nice little sauce say you want something with a little more glamour nice glossy saucy flavor here we go <laughs> Okay, so we, we're gonna try these two kind of chicken wing. You can call them yin yang chicken wing if you want. Here we go. Now, first is the salt and pepper with Thai basil. All right. Um, why don't you give a little try of that one? I know that one's your favorite. I'm gonna take my favorite. Okay, and we have a little Chinese seasoned salt. You wanna show them that? That'll All right, work. so why don't you try it? Okay. Okay, smile for the camera, babe. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Is it still hot? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, it's so juicy. Look at that. Whoa, still juicy. Mm -hmm. Yet it was crispy, right? You saw how crispy it was yeah. when I took it out of the front. Nice and crispy mm -hmm. and still so juicy. It's dripping with juice. Yep. And the flavor is really good. Could you describe the flavors for them? It's salty. Look up and smile. Salty, there you go. a little bit spicy. Uh -huh. You can taste the onions, the peppers in it. Jalapenos, yeah. The licorice flavor from the Thai basil. Oh, so it's good. really good. Everything's all melted and, together. And it's very oniony, right? Mm -hmm. Very yeah. oniony. Okay. It's delicious. And then the chicken flavor, of course, it's delicious. All right, very good. I, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I, I can't wait till I'm, mm. uh, I eat some of this. Oh, my word. That is good, and of course I would eat it with my um, hot oil, and um, I make my own hot oil, and uh, maybe I, 
one of these days we'll have a, a show on on all the different oils and sauces that we use and we make our own. That's already recording. Oh, okay. Now it's my turn. Okay, so my wife tried the basil salt and pepper. Mm, I love that basil. I'm gonna tear into that. Um, and I'm gonna try the Mandarin inspired um, sauce. Now, here we go. This is a little bit like hot and sour soup, yet it has a touch of sweetness to round it out. Delicious sesame seed, um, green onion, a lot of scallion. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my word. Mmm. Wow. I, I don't mean to sound much, but this is good. This is some good chicken. Wow. The chicken has crispy, crunchy skin on the outside. The inside is juicy, so juicy. Yep, the flavors, the glaze, the sauce. It's a little sour, a little sweet, very garlicky, very onion-like. It has a rich, deep, mysterious depth to it. Deep depth, and that makes a lot of sense right now. Wow. <laughs> Mm. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's, oh, gingery. That's what this one has. That one does not. The sauce is sweet and sour, but gingery. And it's delicious. You guys have got to try this at home. You will love it. Okay? It is so good. So yeah. I'm going to hold this up the camera. Hey, make sure I don't spill on our laptop. I will eat these with my hot oil and mm, my hot oil it is hot and delicious there you go you gotta try this man spicy oh spicy mm, tell me what you think try it eat it for dinner tomorrow night tell me what you think don't send me no hate mail i don't got time for you but if you like it <laughs> let me know if you want to know more about my family story. Um, check out our YouTube channel and the other videos that we got. You know, I thought I was gonna die. Check out our recipes. Try. Mm, give me, honey, give me some of that stuff. Mm.